Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Liam's issues are undetermined hope earnings deeper respect. The bold and the beautiful spoilers document that Liam Spencer has disaccorded studies about Steffi Forrester Finnegan. He also remains uncertain about what to suppose about Hope Spencer's romantic connection with Thomas Forrester. Thomas didn't reply with hurt or wrathfulness when Hope told him she wanted to try again with Liam. Hope was impressed and honored that the changes Thomas made in his life were real. Observers know that the old Thomas would have lashed out at Hope and trashed Liam. Rather, Atkinson's character told Hope there was only one thing he could do, let her go back to her family. Thomas Forrester loves Hope Spencer. Thomas continues to tell Hope that he loves her. She acknowledges that he does retain that feeling rather than projecting preoccupation as he'd in the history. Devoted suckers see the setup. Hope's intended attempt to attune with Liam could fail, whether that happens incontinently or over time. And assuming it does, Thomas would look all the better because of the way he responded now. It's good to see Thomas' plot advance. Atkinson's nuanced performance since getting the recast in 2019 has been atrocious, so the suckers are surely looking forward to the coming stage in Thomas' elaboration. Liam Spencer has another heart, too. Heart Steffi was surprised to hear Liam say that he and Hope may have had advance. Wood's character pushed Liam to a tune with his woman. After he witnessed Hope kissing Thomas in Rome, Italy, Clifton's character trying to offer himself as an volition to John Finn Finnegan, playing off the incidents with Sheila Carter. But Steffi has herself under control and initiated a separation so she can reuse all that happened. Liam took Steffi's rejection of him as a signal to try again with Hope. Of course, Hope doesn't know that Liam told Steffi he no way stopped loving her. Making the marriage work because of love and family Liam does watch about Hope. That has no way been illicit question, but Steffi knows Liam's mixed dispatches threw her and Hope off on multiple occasions within the last decade. She wants her marriage with Finn to last. Hope realized that Liam's retrospective discussion about their participated history, including what they crushed, signified. She's willing to try because of their family. Whether Liam wants that as well will be seen on B&B. &B. This point is a leading source for everything linked to the bold and the beautiful. Liam rescues Steffi from Sheila Plot plays idol in Scary Hassle. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Liam Spencer has promised no detriment will come to Steffi Forrester, so that's a pledge he intends to keep. Indeed so Liam will sweat bad news in the coming occurrences. As long as Sheila Carter is on the loose, Liam will worry about the safety of Steffi and the kitties. During the week of August 28, September 1, John Finn Finnegan will have another heated battle with Liam. Although Finn will formally again charge Liam of wanting Steffi back, Liam will act like Finn needs to concentrate on guarding his family. Liam will make it clear that it's Finn's job to watch over Steffi, Hayes Forrester Finnegan and Kelly Spencer since he brought Sheila into all their lives. Of course, Liam preliminarily claimed it was his job rather. After Finn proved he couldn't be trusted, Liam appointed himself Steffi's protection and acted like he to be the one to keep high sex wife safe along with the children. Nonetheless, Liam will supposedly try to back off a bit formerly Steffi returns to the precipice house. That plan may not last long, especially since some peril will strike during the week of September 4 to 8. B and B spoilers say Steffi will land in a parlous situation, so this has Sheila written all over it. Sheila has been fuming over Steffi impacting Finn and believes she'd have a true mama, son bond with him if it weren't for her. That could fluently lead to an hassle where Steffi feels hovered by Sheila and whatever portent is commentary she might make. Finn might be working at the sanitarium when this happens, which could give Liam the occasion to step up and advise Sheila down. Will Liam come to Steffi's deliverance and pull her near in the process? Will Finn feel like Liam is making his move and officially trying to replace him as Steffi's man? The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Sheila could beget some chaos once she supposedly corners Steffi for a sweepstakes, so stay tuned for updates on whether Liam will save the day. Bold and the beautiful star Bob Barker, iconic game show host, dies at 99 TV legend Bob Barker has failed at age 99. 
Famed for hosting game shows like The Price is Right, Barker attracted observers by combining charm with wit. But Bob also delighted suckers with his appearance on The Bold and The Beautiful. Learn about the iconic television star's emotional career and discover his passion for beast rights amid his further than 50 times on television. Get all the details below, including his part on The Bold and The Beautiful. Bob Barker dies at 99 from The Price is Right to The Bold and The Beautiful Bob Barker came a television legend and his suckers mourned as news spread that Bob passed away at age 99. But his publicist Roger Neal also revealed his own profound sadness about Barker's death. The world's greatest MC who ever lived, Bob Barker has left us, participated the publicist via NBC. Barker struck gold in 1972 with The Price is Right, but he faced a challenge. Because game shows had come less popular, Bob demanded to grow his followership, and he did so with his capability to charm observers, and Robert Thompson, the director of the Blair Center for Television and Popular Culture at Syracuse University, offered his views on Barker's success. Because Bob hosted game shows for further than five decades, he turned himself into a fabulous game show host. Bob Barker knew how to interact with regular people, and Thompson praised Barker for his chops as a game show host. From the black and white period of TV right up to the new century, Bob Barker had a real presence on two really big shows, refocused out the entertainment assiduity expert, and he noted, Secondly, you've got some game shows where the host just stands behind a tribune. But Barker really interacted with regular people who shared on the shows as rivals, participated Thompson, and he was particularly good at it. Born in Darrington, Washington, on deck. 12, 1923, Bob moved with his mama at age six to a Sioux Indian reservation in Mission, South Dakota. His father failed in an accident, and his mama, a teacher, latterly married and moved to Missouri. Bob Barker believed in animal rights. Barker served for two times in the Navy at the end of World War II, and he also headed back to Missouri to go to Drury College. Still, Bob's career really began with a job at a radio station in Florida. And in 1950, Barker headed to California to host his own radio program, The Bob Barker Show. As a result, Barker entered his first game show gig six times laterally, and his part on NBC's Truth or Consequences turned into an 18-time position. Bob also took on other places. For Case starting in 1967, he came host of the Miss Universe and Miss America pageants. And in 1969, Barker came the host of the New Year's Day event of Rose's Parade. Bob entered an Emmy Award for Lifetime Achievement. Barker married his High Academy gal, Dorothy Jo Gideon, in 1945. She failed in 1945. But Bob also created a charity grounded on his belief in beast rights. And he famously ended every occasion of The Price is Right with a request. Help control the pet population. Have your faves dissexed or fixed? Barker would plead a cult. His charity offered those services, and he named it the DJ and T Foundation after his woman and her mama. Bob first came passionate about beast rights when he gave away his first prize as host on the price is right a fur fleece. Bob Barker delights on bold and the beautiful still. Barker also delighted suckers by portraying himself on the bold and the beautiful. Bob appeared in an homage to his gem from the 1996 movie Happy Gilmore, and he indeed incorporated punches, complete with sound goods, after arguing with Darren Brooks, noted E.W., I allowed. It was an awful idea because Happy Gilmore is still playing on TV constantly and everybody loved that fight scene. Barker participated when the occasion vented, and he added, for bold and beautiful to be so bold as to copy, more or less is awful but Barker revealed that he didn't need to train, calling himself a natural fighter. Tell us what you suppose. What are your recollections of Bob Barker? And after you partake your views, check back on our point for further news about the bold and the beautiful.